Hello everyone, this is Drew, and this is the first episode of Ubuntu.net. Today I'm going to download and install the .NET Core Preview 1.0 onto Ubuntu 16.04. And the web page that you see to your right is the, the main site for .NET Core, and that is also the first link in the description below. I'm going to scroll down because I have 16.04 and use the, these instructions, and we're going to go piecemeal the first line actually just inserts a new file and a uh, and an entry into that file and it gives us a, a, a new source so uh, it's uh, an entry for a new repository so I'm gonna copy that right click, click and paste it will ask me for my password because we're asking the administrator root to do something for us and it just immediately returns because all it's doing is writing a file uh, the next thing we're going to do is associate a PGP key uh, with that repository. This is going to take a little bit longer because it has to go over to uh, across the network and retrieve some information. So when you paste it in, it could take maybe five to ten seconds. Okay, now that that's done, we need to, uh, we're going to issue an update command using the app get to update the in indexes <coughs> and the information about the repositories. Okay, that's done. The only thing that we need to do now is to install the, the .NET framework, and we'll do that. Install .NET Core SDK. Um, I'm going to just going to highlight this this command here. Right click, paste it into uh, the terminal, and we have to hit enter again. I do want to continue, and it will consume 108 megs of additional hard drive space. That is done. Now what we get to do is actually uh, use the utility. Uh, we're going to make a new directory. Uh, make dir uh, hw app. I assume that that stands for homework app. I don't know. Okay, so we've created a, direct, a directory there. And I'm going to cd into it. Okay, so now the first thing to do in order to create a new .NET app, we're going to use the .NET command line or .NET utility. And we're issue the new command. Now this uh, can get a whole lot more complex. We'll come back to this in the second video. But what this is doing for us now is it's going to create a new C sharp console applet, a sample hello world applet for us. Now <clears throat> later on we can specify uh, what language we want to use, and we'll do this next time uh, and create an F sharp uh, console app. But for right now we're going to use, take the default values. <clears throat> it's going to create a new uh, project in. Uh, Home Drew HW app. It's done so, but now um, well, let's just do a directory listing. A program file, which is a simple, uh, has a main entry point, and that entry point just uh, writes something out of the console using console right. I think it's right line. Uh, just says hello world. In order to get the app to run, we actually need to do a .NET restore, and it's going to look in project.json for any DLLs, any uh, dependencies that it needs, and it will download that. So let's do a .NET restore. There you go. It was very quick because it's a very simple uh, project. Now the last thing to do is to actually run the thing. So we go .NET and then run. And when we run it, we, we're told Project HW App will be compiled because we've never com compiled it before, so there is no, no outputs. Uh, it did compile it. It was successful. We got uh, compilation successful, no warnings, no errors, and the elapsed time was very small amount of time here. Uh, hours, minutes, seconds, so 1.07 seconds. Okay, and the only thing that this thing does is it prints out Hello World on the command line. Now, the next thing I want to do, I want to look at the uh, source code for this simple app. And I suggest, and this will be the, the second URL uh, in, in the description below. And what I want to do is download the Visual Studio Code Editor. Now, what this is going to do for us, it gives us that kind of a feel like Visual Studio. It also has uh, color syntax highlighting, and it has IntelliSense. <clears throat> Instead of just opening up this project in uh, G-Edit or uh, Notepad++, let's actually go and download an editor that was created for it. So we're downloading now, and it shouldn't take very long. I want to keep that file, yes. Don't let it get away. And I, I think we can just double-click it, and it'll open. There we go. 
if you double click the dev file, of course, it's going to open up in Ubuntu software. Um, we can click install here. We get our progress bar. Hopefully, this won't fail. I do need to enter my password. Okay. Didn't take very long at all to install. Okay, there we go. Now, what we have to do is go and search for this application. We can type in Visual VISU. I get Visual Studio Code. All right. So before I even get started, I'm going to right click on this uh, icon and just lock it to the launcher. I know I'll be using this uh, a whole lot more. And then the first thing I want to do is go click on the first icon, the Explorer here, and then open a folder. And I'm going to go into my directory, my home, there we go, HW app, click OK. It will open this uh, as a directory listing. And now we can actually just look at the code. I just want to make a little change. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, true Barfield Productions Rocks. And now we will have to go back to the, uh, I'm going to click File and Save. You can also use Control S to save. So I'm going to go back to the terminal. Uh, and now .NET Run again. Drew Barfield Productions rocks. Now I know this. So what we've done here is we've downloaded, downloaded and installed uh, the .NET Core 1.0 framework. We've made a, a tiny example app and we've updated it. Well, we ran it to begin with and we just said hello world. When we updated it, we made just a small change and we did so using Visual Studio Code. And once again, the links to the download page for .NET Core as well as the download link for Visual Studio Code, those links are in the description below. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.